Amen. Sorry for that interruption, sir. I think someone tried to work on and we'll log out. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. So as we read from that um, book of First Kings chapter eighteen about the altar, where the people of Ahab went to go and offer their own sacrifice, you know, to call on their own gods. But they call on their gods. They call, they sang, they cried, they did everything. But God did not answer them. Because their altar was not according to God's will. Was not according to God's plan. Their altar was for evil. And Elijah, the prophet from God, sent from God came that same altar that same altar elijah told them bring this that you know the wood and everything and all these things elijah asked them to bring to the altar represent spiritual things in our lives And he poured water upon the wood, the stones, and all the things that was there. And he called on fire. And fire came down from heaven and consumed everything there. This was the same prophet, Elijah, when he, he saw the letter of Jezebel. This same prophet. Repairing the altar of God. Repairing the altar of God. It is therefore interesting to realize, you know, that we are living temples and carrier of the throne where God exhibits his majesty. No wonder the Holy Spirit in First Peter chapter chapter two verse five. Please, can someone read for us First Peter chapter two verse five? First Peter chapter two verse five. First Peter two five. I read. Yeah, also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer unto to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You see, offering the spiritual sacrifices acceptable by Jesus Christ. What sacrifices have you been offering on your altar that is acceptable by Jesus Christ? From the text we read, Elijah repaired the altar of God before offering the sacrifice. On it, he repaired it. There are a good number of lessons we can learn from this passage. For instance, there is the possibility of the altar of God being broken down. When a man, particularly a child of God, sings, he or she breaks down the altar of God. Since we are the temple of God, the brother or the sister need to repair the broken altar before he or she can make spiritual progress in life. What altar are you? How is your altar? From Elijah's story, we can see that it is possible for a broken altar to be repaired. Elijah repaired the broken altar before he offered the sacrifice on it.
the result was answered when he offered the sacrifice on the altar. His prayer was answered with fire. People of God must know that sin is an alien thing in our lives. Sin is an alien thing walking, you know, with God. And so we must have zero tolerance in our lives for our altar to be clean. In case a child of God slips into sin, what should he or she do? The fellow must not stay in that falling state and mourn his spiritual, you know, spiritual calamity, spiritual falling. He or she, he or she must be willing, ready to repair his or her altar. The broken altar. The broken altar in our lives must be repaired, just like the way Elijah repaired the broken altar of Ahab, where they came to offer their own evil sacrifices for their own evil intentions. There are many altars in our lives of a child of God as a Christian that the devil may want to destroy. The altar of faith, the altar of beliefs, the altar of fasting, the altar of praying, the altar. By the time we finish repairing the altar. Our insufficiencies becomes an history. Once you repair the altar by the special grace of God, because you can't repair the altar by yourself. You can't repair the altar by your own intellectual. You can't repair the altar by saying, I know all the stories from Genesis to Revelation. If God is not involved, you can't fix the altar by yourself. Remember, Elijah had to invite God into that altar. For God to answer Elijah by fire. So whatever we want to do in our lives, Without putting God first, it can't work. What is your altar? How bad is your altar? Never give up. Never give up. God can still repair your altar if you have the willingness to do so. If you have the willingness to do so. And don't say because my altar is broken, I am weak. I don't need to fix it. I can't fix it. I need help. I need this. You know, my altar is broken. I can't pray anymore. My altar is broken. I can't fast anymore. By the special grace of God, if you have the willingness God will repair your altar for you. As you repair the altar of your faith today, the impossible will become possible for you. Let us look at Matthew chapter 17. Please, can somebody read for us? Matthew chapter 17. Can somebody read for us? Matthew chapter 17. 
From which verse, sir? Verse, verse 20. 20. Verse 20. I read in Jesus' name, Matthew 17, 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to go to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Amen. Amen. If you have the faith, God will repair your altar for you. Sorry for that. As you repair the broken water of God in your life today, May the Lord turn your lack to abundance in Jesus Christ's name. Why do we need to repair the broken altar for salvation? The temple is the body of Christ where God dwells in. And God cannot dwell in a broken altar When we look at the story of the first Kings chapter 18, the trouble was not um, said in verse 17 that Elijah came to trouble us. But the trouble or the problem was the broken altar. Elijah came to repair the broken altar. The trouble in our lives is not what the pastor says, what the program's goals, you know, how we come to church. The problem in our lives is the broken altar. In the life of God's people, the purpose of an altar is worship, sacrifice, bring offerings god's people must gather together to meet god the broken altar in first kings chapter 18 verse 30 first kings chapter 18 verse 30 the broken down altar was repaired by the man of god even though he had been in that condition for so many years. Don't give up. If your altar is broken, it doesn't matter how long your altar has been broken. The main thing is once you have faith, God can repair your altar for you. If you have the willingness, What are the, some of the altars that we need to repair? We need to repair so many things in our lives. Repair the altar by paying attention to God's words. Because once you don't pay attention to God's words, you will do things outside of the scripture. And once you do anything outside of the scripture, that's a broken altar. Let us read the book of Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. 20 to 23. Proverbs 4, 20 to 23. It says, my son, I tend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sins. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them. 
and health to all their flesh. Keep their hearts with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs 4, 20 to 23. For out of the, for out of it are the issues of life. What altar are you built on? Repair the altar of attitude. These are some of the altars that are broken in our lives. The altar of attitude. Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30 to 32. Ephesians 4, 30 to 32. It says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger, and glamour, and evil speaking, be put away from you with all malice, and be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Repair the altar of attitude. Do you have the spirit where you don't forgive? Do you have the spirit where you speak malice about your fellow human being? Even though that we are not to speak evil to anybody. Prepare the altar of attitude. Get right with God. Stay right with God. God will fix your broken altar. Some of the altars that we need to repair also is the altar of prayer. The altar of prayer. Some of us, we are so weak, so lazy to pray. Even to pray without opening your mouth, some of us, we can't do it. And some of us, we fake prayers and we are in the body of Christ. It is when we see our pastor, we start to, oh, oh, shake my mama, shake my mama, shake my mama. Who are you deceiving? That's a broken altar that we need to fix. the broken altar. James chapter 3, verse 16. It says, confess your fault one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Repair the altar of prayer. Repair the altar of prayer frequently. Pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians three seventeen says that. Pray this altar by faith. Please let us read. Let somebody read Matthew twenty one, verse twenty one. Matthew 21, 21. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 21, 21. I read you Jesus' name. Come. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also, if ye shall say unto this mountain, 
be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. Amen. Amen. See, do we have faith in our prayers? Well, we, do, we just come and say, let us pray, and we just pray without faith. Faith is having confidence that he who has a promise is able to perform that which he has promised. What faith do you have in your prayer? If you don't have any faith, that's a broken altar that we need to fix. The other altar that we need to fix is the other altar of purpose. The altar of purpose. Repair this altar by serving God with all your heart, with all your might. Don't serve God when you are in a condition. Don't serve God when you need help. Don't serve God when you need miracle. Don't serve God when you need deliverance. Serve God because he is God. The altar of purpose. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. When you don't fix your broken altar, you can't receive power, and the Holy Ghost cannot come upon you. The only time you can receive power from God is when your altar is being repaired. Repairing the broken altar. We also need to repair the altar of soul winning. Most of us, we are even afraid to do evangelism. We don't want people to see us that we are talking about Jesus Christ. We don't want to go outside and win souls to God. These are some of the altars in our lives that we need to repair. The broken altar. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Matthew 28, 18 to 20, says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. God has given us the power to evangelize. God has given us the power to win souls. Repairing the altar of winning souls. The altar that we need to repair is the altar of our sacrifice. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 24. Says, and the king said unto Aramia, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price 
neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which do cost me nothing. So David bought the treasuring flour and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver, the altar of our sacrifice. Is there anything you will do to God that will not cost you anything? The best sacrifice we can give to God is ourselves. The Bible says, present yourself. If that altar of yourself is broken, you can present it to God to be holy, acceptable unto God, not unto man. We like to present ourselves unto man, clean, pure, holy, to get man's praises. But the Bible says, present yourself, present that your altar, that your temple, holy, acceptable unto God, repairing the altar of our sacrifice. Some of the altar that we need to repair is the altar of power with God. Repair this altar by having the right spirit. The right spirit. We can see this in the book of Ezekiel chapter 33. Let me see. Ezekiel 36, 26. In the book of Psalm 51, verse 10, it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. We also need to repair the altar of having a right speech. A right speech. Speech to our fellow human brethren and speech to God. We talk calmly to our fellow human beings. But to God, we talk anyhow. We just throw words at God without having the right speech. These are the, some of the altars we need to repair in our lives. We also need to repair the altar of gossip. The altar of backsliding. Are we willing to repair the altar by the grace of God? Or we just want to leave the altar like that? Repairing the altar of God. Repair the altar by having a right surrendering spirit. Repairing the altar by having a right surrendering spirit. How many of us can truly sing this song that says, um, um, All to Jesus I surrender. All to Jesus I surrender. All to him freely gives. I will ever love and trust him in his presence, daily lives. All to Jesus, I surrender. Humbling at his feet, I bow. 
worldly pleasures are forsaking. Take me, Jesus. Take me now. I surrender all to Jesus. Preparing the broken water. Are we willing, ready for God to repair the altar for us? The altar that has been broken for so many years and we don't know. And we believe we are in the faith. There are altars in our lives that have been broken for years. Some we don't know, some we know. We also need to repair the altar of repentance. Having the right spirit to repent. Repairing the altar of confession of our sins. Even to confess our sin before God, you are alone. Pray, confess your sin to God, but we fail to do it. These are the altars that we need to repair. For wives and for husbands, we need to repair our altar. How do you present yourself to your husband? How do you present yourself to your wife? The altar of God must be repaired. The broken altar. We need to take inventory of our lives. Examine our faith. Examine everything about our lives if we are in the faith. We need to repair this altar. We need to repair the temple of God. Let us look at the book of Second Chronicles. Chapter 33, Second Chronicles 33, Second Chronicles 33, from verse 16 and 17. I read in Jesus Christ's name. And he repaired the altar of the Lord and sacrifice their own peace offerings and thanks offering and commanded Judah to serve the Lord God of Israel. Nevertheless, the people did sacrifice still in the high places, yet unto the Lord their God only. What peace offering do you want to offer on your altar? What thanksgiving of offerings you want to offer on your altar, the broken altar? Are we willing for God to repair the broken altar in our lives? We need to call ourselves to order and examine where do I need to fix in my life? Where is that altar that has been broken for years? Today, God, I want you to fix my life. Today is Holy Communion. Once your altar is broken, 
you cannot receive the Holy Communion without asking for forgiveness, without confessing your sins. Please, brethren, let us examine ourselves before we can go in the presence of God and receive the communion, the broken altar. We are going to pray. God Almighty Father, every areas of my life, spiritually or physically, that has been broken, any altar in my life that has been broken for years and I'm not aware of them, God, please help me and fix my altar. God, please help me and repair my altar. Repair my altar. Repair me, O oh Lord. Repair me, God Almighty Father, with your broken spirit, broken heart. Repair my altar. Repair my altar. God Almighty Father, I cry unto you, O oh Lord, today. To repair my altar. I present myself to you, God Almighty Father. I want you to fix my life. I want you to fix my broken number. I want my foreshadow to be clear. I want the temple of my life to be holy, acceptable unto God. I need Not <laughs> <laughs> But that reflect the beauty of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember what God said to Ezekiel. He said, speak to that mountain. And that mountain will be moved. You know within yourself. I don't know it. We don't know it. Between you and your God. Prophesy to that mountain in your life. Prophesy to that broken mind thing. That God, I want you to fix it for me. Fix it for me, oh Lord. Then that secret altar, that secret altar that has been broken for ages, cry unto God. 
Mix my altar for you. You broke the altar. In my family, fix our world. In my mighty life, mighty father, fix my broken there is no one who cannot do that your hands of your government, let every mountain be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. We are going to take this to prayer form from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. Verses 25 and 26. Okay. We are going to use it as our prayer point. In Ezekiel 36, 25 to 26. In Ezekiel 36, verses 25 to 26. 25 says, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. And ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. We are going to God Almighty Father, upon my broken altar, sprinkle your clean water upon me. Sprinkle your clean water upon my soul. Sprinkle your clean water upon my filthiness. Make me clean. Make my altar clean. Make my altar clean. Make my altar clean. Make my altar clean. Oh, Almighty Father, I want to you. Bring your clean water upon me. Bring your clean water on my family. Make our altar clean. Make our altar clean. Oh, God. In this house, oh Lord, from every beautiness, take away every beautiness, oh Lord, from my heart. In this place, oh Lord, cleanse me, oh Lord. God Almighty Father, pour your clean water on me. Bring your clean water upon my broken heart and make them clean. And make it clean, oh Lord. God Almighty Father. Father, help me and repair my broken heart. Help me, God Almighty Father, repair our broken heart. Oh Lord, God Almighty Father, sprinkle your clean water upon me. Sprinkle your clean water upon your altar. Oh Lord, God Almighty Father, I need you. I need you. So take away every beautiness in my life. Make me be God Almighty Father. Oh, clean. Make my altar clean. Make my altar clean, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, then we pray. 26 says, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And now we take away the tiny heart out of your flesh and I will give you an heart of flesh. Hey, God Almighty Father, we are going to pray. Use it as your prayer point. Ezekiel 36, verse 26. 
A new heart, God Almighty Father. Oh Lord, give me a new heart. On this my altar, give me a new heart. Give me a new heart, Lord. On this my broken altar, give me a new heart. Give me a new spirit. Give me a new spirit. Give me a new spirit. Oh Lord. Take away. Take away. Take away. Every beautiness. Take away. Upon my altar. Oh God Almighty Father. Give me a new God Almighty Father, I cry unto you. I cry unto you. I cry unto you. God Almighty Father, put in me a new spirit. Put in me and cause me to walk in your status, O Lord. Cause us to walk in your status, God Almighty Father. And let us keep your commandments. Let us keep your laws. Let us keep your words, O Lord. God Almighty Father, help us, O Lord, and repair our broken altars. Help us, O Lord, and repair our broken altars. God Almighty Father, today is your communion. Today is your communion. Give us a new heart, give us a new spirit, and repair my altar. Repair my altar. Repair my altar. Repair my broken altar. God Almighty Father, the altar of my family. Repair them, O oh Lord. Repair them, O oh Lord. Repair them, O oh Lord. Give me a new heart. Give me a new heart. Give me a new spirit. Repair my heart. Repair my heart, O oh Lord. In the mighty Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going to pray. God Almighty Father, let me walk according to your will. Let me act according to your will. Let me talk according to your will. Let me think according to your will. The Bible says, let this mind that was in Christ Jesus be also in you. God Almighty Father, give me your spirit. Your spirit. God Almighty Father, give me your mind. Give me your thoughts. Give me your doings. Give me your speech. God Almighty Father, upon this altar, O Lord, give me your spirit. Give me your heart, O Lord. Give me your heart, O Lord. Give me your heart, O Lord. And repair my altar. Repair my altar. Give me your clean heart. And repair my heart. God Almighty Father. I want to have the mind of Jesus Christ. I want to have the thought of Jesus Christ. I want to walk as Jesus Christ walked. I want to act as Jesus Christ acted. I want to think as Jesus Christ think. God Almighty Father. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. Repair my altar. Take away every stony heart of me. Repair my altar. Put your spirit in me. Put your spirit in me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. We are going to pray for CHMI. Every broken altar in CHMI, God Almighty Father, repair them. Repair them. Open your mouth. I pray. Pray for CHMI. Pray for CHMI. That God will repair every broken altar. Every broken altar in CHMI. God Almighty Father, we present your, your sanctuary to you. We present CHMI. Complete holiness ministry international. We present them to you. Every broken altar. 
altar. Of CHMI, Lord Almighty Father, we cry unto you. Repair them, O Lord. Repair them, them, O Lord. Repair 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 them, O in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going to pray for the leader, Pastor Jeff, that God Almighty Father, every broken altar in his life, that God should help him. God should repair every broken altar in his life. And his family in the mighty name of Jesus. We cry to you, O God. Let us pray that we bring your servant your servants, Jeff, to our good that before every throne of grace. Father, we pray every altar that has been stopped, every altar that has been marked. Father, we pray that you repair it. We pray every altar. We pray every altar. We pray every altar. We pray the altar of his family. 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 He will be able to do the work he's committed in his hand. In Jesus Christ's name. So the Bible says we should be our brother's keeper. Now, we will pick one or two persons. Just call the name silently and pray for that person. And God Almighty Father, repair the altar of this person. Repair our altar. Repair his altar. Intercede for that person. There are some broken altars that we see, but that person doesn't know. But you see it from outside. We are going to pray on behalf of that person. God Almighty Father, I want you to repair the altar of my sister. I want you to repair the altar of my brother. Pray this prayer. the broken altar of your daughter. In the name of Jesus. Abba Father, may you, oh God, you are stepping, oh God, down of the trouble here. Step in, oh God, and repair, oh God, this altar. Father, that a sacrifice of praise will come to you to this altar. Father, your name, oh God, will be called through this altar. Father, oh God, great works will be done, oh God. Father, oh God, oh God greater works will be done, oh God, through this altar. Father, fix by your power, by your mercy. Father, your name, your name will be done, oh God. Father, give me the mission of God. Jesus Christ, now we pray. We are going to pray for the body of Christ worldwide. And God should repair their broken altars. Open your mouth and pray for Christians worldwide. Leave us worldwide. That God should repair their broken altars. God repair their broken altars. Repair. God, the Father, infinite mercy. Please repair the broken In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our last prayer. 
we are going to pray. God Almighty Father, let me serve you in spirit and in truth. I want to serve you with all my heart. Take away every fake serving. I want to serve you in spirit and in truth. Pray that prayer. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ. 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 Jesus Christ.